say the increased activity is largely due to the natural phenomenon known as La Nina. Forecasters also say advances in satellite technology have enabled them to detect weaker storms they previously would not have known about. That's one of the re reasons that we see more named storms these days. So Jacqueline, I think this is probably on the tops of minds for a lot of folks mm -hmm. going into a hurricane season. We've already been seeing some really intense storms go across the south this week. Yeah, we definitely had a pretty active severe weather season already. Now today we've got some activity just to our east, but so far we've been pretty dry throughout the Piedmont. As I move cl closer to Raleigh though, you can see that they're having some showers and even some thunderstorms at times. Heavy downpours in that location, but now we head further west where we're watching our big issue for today, which is some snow in the mountains. It's not a huge concern, but it might be a little bit of a surprise. I have heard that a lot of folks who live in the mountains, they look forward to late season snows and snows in April. So maybe this is exciting for you, but some folks might be bummed about it. As we're looking right now, though, you see a lot of different colors on the map. We've got blues, we've got pinks, we've got purples. You can see that that kind of just means we've got a mix of all kinds of different precip and even some white popping up on the map meaning that we've seen some transition entirely to snow and that's what we can expect here over the next couple of hours. So as we're looking a little bit closer, you'll see that we really only have dark blue. That's the darkest color we've got on this map. So even when we are getting rain, it's very light. All of this precip is pretty light. If we take a look at how quickly some of this is falling, we can see that the darkest color on the map here we're looking at about less than a tenth of an inch of rain per hour. As we look at some of these snow spots, we've got, let's see here, not, not a lot of snow there either. So everything's falling very light, but it will add up. So in, on the other side of our forecast area, we do have some winter weather advisories, but for our forecast area, we're not expecting enough that it'll impact your day. So no advisories in effect for us. As we're heading into the next couple of hours though, we'll watch as these showers move through our area. They cool down in the mountains and we see that full transition to snow. And we get some sprinkles here and there throughout the foothills in the Piedmont. That could be bad news if you are headed out to one of the opening nights tonight, but for most of us, it really won't have a big impact. Here's a look at Winston-Salem right now. Mostly cloudy skies, 59 degrees. Winds are 5 to 10 miles an hour at this point. As we're taking a look at Mount Airy at lunchtime, we've got cloudier skies, winds in the 6 mile an hour range. So overall, it's nice and calm out there, but we are expecting winds to pick up pretty considerably into the next couple of hours. In fact, winds gusting 30, 35 miles per hour and that's why we are still concerned about those baseball forecasts. Sparta reporting rain showers at this point 46 degrees. Those winds though that's kind of what we're looking for for our entire area as we go through the next couple of hours. We're at 14 miles per hour and a 14 mile an hour wind by the way makes 46 degrees feel like 40. So as we go through the next couple of hours the mountains will see those temperatures drop. They'll have flurries falling and the wind will really matter when it comes to things like wind chill. So we'll be keeping an eye on that as well. Well, here's your seven day forecast for the Piedmont, a 30% chance for showers by tomorrow, a couple more sprinkles, and then we warm up into next week. Thank you, Jacqueline. We are keeping an eye on that ceremony when that gets started. We'll be sure to bring you that live coverage, but before then, hopefully we'll